What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm Tim Kuru, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. Like if you like my review. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make reactions and reviews. If you are subscribed, thank you. Anyway, I'm about to dive right into my thoughts about Season 2 of 13 Reasons Why. I'm not going to do a full spectrum review because uh, there's some really sensitive stuff. They tackle the season, the show tackles in general. And I don't mind how it tackles them. Some points you know sometimes sometimes i'm like yo they kind of push the button a little bit there like people are not gonna take this well you know what i'm saying like even in season one i felt airy in some moments but it's a show that's needed i feel like it's needed to highlight something people seem to brush off because these things are happening and the fact that the show kind of makes you airy when it's reality, it should change, you know what I'm saying? What I did like about this season is that the contracts, like the context they added in Hannah and her relationship with every other character, like they didn't just show it from Hannah's part of the story. They showed like season one was Hannah's story and they were adamant of that part, but they were like, yo, this is the other side of the story. This is what Alex, what what you didn't know about her and Alex's relationship, her and Jessica's relationship, her and Justin's relationship, her and Dustin's relationship. Like it was just you know kinda great to see to add more emphasis on who Hannah was to these people. Like she wasn't just the victim, she was once the friend, you know what I'm saying? They betrayed her in a sense. Like, there were some moments where I thought, yo, I really turning Hannah into this monster. Because, especially, they were showing this from Clay's point of view. And Clay was fe feeling like he didn't know her. Which was moments where they were like, yo, are they really trying to basically kill this girl's credibility? But that's what they were supposed to do in the Hulk court case i was like it's working because i was starting to believe most of these things because clay was starting to believe most of these things we should be giving up for the cast's performance like yo everybody's performance from from hannah even when she came back as a ghost to the doodle place clay to doodle place justin to everybody in this cast nobody faults even the tyler dude like nobody has I have nothing against anybody's performance in the show. It's, it's phenomenal. Zach came out of the season to one of my favorite characters. Last season, I, I was like, yo, his tape is so minu minimal. <laughs> like, like, it meant something to Hannah, that taking the pictures and whatnot. But finding out his version, how they, they meant so much for each other, that was the first time, and how, you know, they images made them break up and they were so good together you know like i like, really like zach's part of the story and i didn't like doesn't make justin fault justifiable but i understood his background shaped him into a person he did not like that's why he kind of did not change and there were so many ramifications of the season which I was like, ah, oh, they definitely going for a third season. Which I felt like the second season in itself was unnecessary. Like they could have won and done it, but you know, since they go in this route, I'm excited for season three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give this season overall like an eight. An eight. It was. I didn't feel bored watching it. I was intrigued. I wanted to finish it. I did finish it. I basically benched every episode all the way and it took me this long to process all my thoughts about it. And I watched it the first week and it came out. So I should tell you, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Because I hope this didn't spoil it if you haven't watched it. It probably didn't. I didn't dive in deep into my thoughts. So yeah. Hey, before I sign out, check out hashtag I'm a creator. It's a community of creators who create on YouTube. Just write hashtag I'm a creator on Twitter, on Facebook, 
even on Instagram, I think. And you'll find a group of creators. You'll find James Crocs, who started the group, who makes live streams, or a bunch of creators can meet each other, communicate, support each other. It's not sub for sub, but most of the time people do support you back when they like your content. So my channel's been growing since, so I thought I should let you guys know. Hashtag I'm a creator. Deuces.